Oh, it would appear that restarting the generators was a poor idea on my part. It seems as if the normal way across has been flooded. You'll have to find another way to get up there. You should throw that switch first. Really, trust me. What's up everybody, once again my name is Matt, and welcome back to Let's Play Quantum Conundrum. So in the last episode we restored power to the entire manor, and well a bunch of bad things happened. And right now we're trying to make our way to the Uber IDS I think, and then sort of get inside the pocket dimension. I'm not entirely sure, but let's see what this dolly is going to give us. Alright, and two safes. Alright, so how the heck am I going to do anything with two safes, or what am I going to do with two safes rather? I need to sort of make my way up there now that that door's open. Um, well, I suppose what I could do actually is just pick it up and then throw it and then jump on it from that top platform and use reverse grab to sort of glide over there. That, that might actually work, so let's attempt to do that. That seems easy enough. And hopefully we're at the right angle and this will work. And I believe it will. Whoa! What the that was unexpected. Yeah, well... Wait, did I just... Well, was I just there? I think you were. That's quite interesting. I'm not Confounded sure. Confounded principles and their uncertainties. It seems as if the house is becoming more unstable by the minute. I don't know what. I'm very uneasy about you being here, but I need to get out of this place. Whoa. Okay. It appears as if my dimensional stability isn't quite so stable. Yeah, I got that. I got that. What the heck is going on? Okay. Um. Well, let's see, this is going to open the door, it looks like, and potentially turn on a laser, so I don't want my safes to get destroyed, so let's see what happens now. Right, okay, so I need to build a reverse staircase, and that's not going to be easy, but I do have slow-mo, so hang on, this might actually be a lot easier than I think, since I can sort of just destroy these safes in slow motion. And ta-da! Easy enough. So hopefully, well, this will actually make it a lot easier. I wish I had slow-mo when they first introduced this mechanic. It would have made my life so much easier, man. Especially because, like, I got stuck on all the safe puzzles, pretty much, up until this one. I am quite happy with this right now. This is, this is fun. This is such an easy puzzle to solve for me. I can do this. Ta-da! First try. Look at that. That is the first time and last time that will probably ever happen. Of course, unless they reuse this puzzle in the next few rooms, but whatever. Let's uh, continue on. I don't know what the heck we're doing here. Oh, not again. Just keep your structural integrity a bit longer, House. Ugh. Not to put any undue pressure on you, but you really need to pick up the pace a bit. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Whoa! Yes, that is still a perturbing sensation. That is... Keep going. You'll be at the elevator to the new technologies lab soon. And the Uber IDS. Okay, so that is very unstable. I don't like the looks of that. Um, that looks like it's gonna fall any second, but I need to destroy more of those safes now, I think, because they're blocking the way. Please don't fall. That would be very, very terrible. All right, I think I can go on top of there now and, and get in. So please don't launch me. A wow, okay, that actually worked. That was interesting to say the least. I don't even know what to say there. Let's go to the next room. Oh, hey, look, an awkward noise machine, cool. So, yes, about you hurrying up. That would be splendid. Hey, I'm working on it, alright? I'm trying to go as fast as I can here. It's just, it, it's all very confusing to me right now. I honestly have no idea what's going on, but hey, I think I'm getting closer, so it's always a good thing. Great! Almost there! What the heck? Just need to get this baby running. I am confused at That's this painting. Strange. That painting is not supposed to be doing that. Something's really not right here. You think? A painting is not supposed to move? Alright, um... Oh, I need to hit both these at the same time. Come here, you. Get over there and push that button for me. Alright, ready? And three, two, one... Go! That should call the elevator. Sweet! Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Um... Oh boy, that's not a good sign. Or not. What the... What is going on? It looks oh, like you're in it for the long fall. I'm sorry, I'm a little tense. What the? Well, on the upside, this ventilation shaft leads to the same place as the elevator. On the downside, you might not survive the fall. Oh, that's that's great. That. If you make it, I'll need you to restart the Uber IDS. It's like the glove you're wearing, except 
much, much bigger. In fact, most of the manor has been retrofitted to power the device. It should enable me to escape from the pocket dimension I'm in. Okay. I, I don't like this at all. Whoa, is that Ike? What the heck? Yeah, no, I'm gonna kill you if I survive this. This is insane. Why would you even build this? This is... Oh my gosh, I'm getting freaking furniture flung at my face right now. This is ridiculous. How long is this tunnel? This... You know what? This actually reminds me a lot of Portal. There's like an instance in Portal 2 where you do this. Okay, um... Please survive. Uh, well, you're alive. That's certainly fortunate. Yeah. You're in the main control bay to the Uber IDS. Strange. There don't appear to be any IDS batteries plugged into the machine. You'll need to find some. Okay, where am I gonna find Uber or IDS? Oh, Ike has them apparently. Okay, that's good. And okay, I wanna point out here that there is no elevator shaft leading to this area. So no matter what, I was falling through that floor regardless. Thanks a lot, dude. Fantastic. Just three more IDS batteries and I should be able to stabilize myself in your dimension. Great, that's fantastic. And then maybe I can sort of punch you in the face for almost killing me. I'm still upset. Oh, this entire place is just falling apart. Holy crap. I don't have a good feeling about this. Something is still bothering me, though. I don't quite remember everything. Memory loss. Man are locked down. Mystery. Maybe you should sort of work on remembering that. Excessive science juice flooding. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, that happened through like- Excessive science juice flooding. Yeah, the entire last area of the manor was flooded. And I have a really bad Let's see. feeling about this. As soon as I put this battery in, something bad is gonna happen. I know it. I'm not looking forward to it, but whatever. Excessive science juice flooding? Yep. Wait, no! Huh. I understand now. All the flooding is providing an unstable energy flow to the IDS. Oh, that's fantastic. I really need to get you out of there somehow before it's too late. Um, okay. What do I do? I don't know where to go. I, I need you to get to the core of the IDS device. I remember now. There's a pocket dimension there as part of the machine's failsafe. That's... That's why I'm in the pocket dimension. I put myself here on purpose. All right, all right, um, okay, I'm gonna get over there. Just give me, give me a quick second. This, I don't like the looks of this at all, but, um, I will get over there and we will be safe, I'm sure. Although this seems like a bad idea, both of us in there. How are we gonna fix this? I don't know. This is a bad idea. And that's how our story ends. <laughs> Just kidding. Here's what really happened. Not a whole lot of improvement, though. Well, you ended up safe in the pocket dimension. Unfortunately, now I'm stuck out here. And I'm going to have to tackle this predicament. This is going to be interesting. Then I flip a switch and fluffy is everything Plush and sweet and soft and pink I flip a switch and heavy is everywhere Crash to the ground from out of the air I flip a switch and time goes down, down, down Stretching thin and stretching out I flip a switch and lose the gravity Light as a feather and floating free Flip a switch and fluffy is everything Plush and sweet and soft and pink I Flip a switch and heavy is everywhere Crash to the ground from out of the air I Flip a switch the time goes down, down, down Stretching thin and stretching out Then I flip a switch and lose the gravity Light as a feather and floating free Shiver, shake, what will it take? Mystery, what's gonna happen to me? Go! 
are getting faster, so I slow it up. Things are getting harder, so I fluff them up. Going faster and faster, will I blow it? Will I blow it up? Blow it up! Then I flip a switch and fluff it. That's that. <laughs> That's Quantum Conundrum, everybody. Wow. <laughs> that was probably one of the more interesting ways to end the game. Apparently, the entire universe now is constantly shifting dimensions and we're stuck in the pocket dimension. That's fantastic. All right, now, as you can see, there is DLC for this game and I will be doing that soon. So don't worry, the game's not completely over yet, but this is the end to the main story. Now, there is something else that got brought to my attention, so I've seen this on the menu every time I loaded up the game, but it was never like accessible, and it looks like it is now, but over to the right of the logo you can kind of see the do a thing button. Someone said I should press this, I have no idea what this does, I'm kind of concerned actually, but I'm gonna go ahead and click it, so um, let's do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, what the? Really? Are you kidding me? You're gonna put a shock scare at the end of your game? Are you kidding me? That is... No! Why would you do that? <laughs> that's just... That's just uncalled for. I don't know who I hate more right now. I don't know if I hate the developers for adding that, or if I hate the person who commented that, but... Whatever, regardless. Anyways, so... That's Quantum Conundrum, everybody. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun this Let's Play. This game is fantastic. I highly, highly recommend you pick it up. But, once again, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.